Now, this is a little book that we're going to make. I have done a cutting guide, which I felt a little bit silly doing, to be honest with you, because it's so simple. Hello, Crafts Captured. Um, hi, Sue. Uh, and we can get onto that in a minute, but um, the book on Friday in Crafting Together with All Brands, I know you've seen photos of it, but do you want me to show you the actual book? Because I'm not convinced that it actually makes sense on the photos. I thought I might just quickly just show you that before we start. Oh, people in Houston. I bet you don't get much snow in Houston, do you? It's Texas. You don't think... Do you get snow in Texas? I wouldn't have thought so. Wet corn or pursuit? Oh, that's a shame. Mind you, it's, it's definitely thawing here. Right, okay, so let me just move my collection of six by six books out of the way. This is the book that we're going to be starting on Friday in Crafting Together with All Brands. So if you're new to this group, join Crafting Together with All Brands. There are links in the group um, and uh, we do exactly the same in there on a Friday as we do here on a Wednesday but with different books so um this is this is what we're going to start on Friday I think it'll probably take us about three classes maybe hi Julie um it's not going to take long and it, it's really not complicated at all it just looks it now the papers that I've used are by AB Studio and they're called uh, Whispers of Fairy Tales um but it's one of those ones where actually you can use any papers and I still haven't decided what I'm doing um, in class, but I'll be using completely different papers in class. Uh, but I just thought I'll show you this. I just I wanted to use them for ages for something and I just thought that's what I'll do. Um, hi, Rebecca. Oh, my bad, Carol. I wouldn't have thought. I've always thought of Texas is a really warm place. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. You do. Mm. It's a big place, isn't it, Texas? It's, yes, it's very big. Huge, in fact. I think we fit in a little corner, don't we? Oh, ah. so, He's going off to do some geography now. Right, so this is the front page. It's, it's quite, it's um, about an inch an inch thick. Uh, and what I've done on the front is I've got my, my little toadstools and my animals. But these, the, these two little toadstools here have got um, some ribbon on and they just slide up. I want to know. Like... Texas, you have a five times bigger than England. Five times bigger than England. Oh, it's quite large then. Wow. Hi, Elaine. Sorry. So these slide up and down. Now I can't take claim for this. I was looking. Um, I was looking at something the other day, and I don't know if you've ever come across a lady called Rosa Kelly. I'm quite sure you have actually. And she did something with a slide, and I thought well, that's really cute. I want to try and work out how to do that. And this is how it end up ended up. So I can't take. Um, I can't take. Uh, what's the word I want? Credit for this entirely. Although I've just kind of guessed how she did it. Um, I think she did it with a, a balloon. Uh, but I just wanted to use my little toadstool people. And they just hide behind the foliage. And of course this one's all 3D because that's what I do, isn't it? Really fussy cutting and stuff. And lots of sparkles for Mel because Mel likes the sparkles. Evening, Sue. And then you open it up. And it's, it's, it's kind of like a little folio, I suppose. And it's got two bits. So it's got a bit on the uh, left and a bit on the right. This is the spine, so it doesn't have hinges exactly. Hi, David. Do you know what? I had a snooze. I've literally just woken up and I woke up so cold, even though I, I, was, I was in bed and I had, the, um, I had the electric blanket on and I was fully clothed. I am getting warmer now, but we're going to use hardly any glue tonight, so that's fine. So uh, let's look at the left hand side first. What I've done here is I've got a couple. These, this is just really simple. I've just got a couple of little uh, photo mats that I've popped in here. Nothing, uh, nothing too technical. And then you open it up and you've got here, you've got this flappy bit, which has got a couple of little pockets on it. And the, I've, all I've done is just use the papers. I've just used the papers, cut out some little tags on there. And the reason that I use so many um pattern papers is because these ab studio papers have got so many great cut cut party bits on it um that uh, i couldn't not use them so that lifts up and then you've got another one underneath that does exactly the same thing so there's a pocket here and it's got another you know photo mat and a couple of tags on it and then you open it up again and what you've got here is i couldn't resist i do like shaker pockets this is useless for photos but it's got like a little shaker thing 
Lucas Sparkles. Hi Marcia, hi Nicole. We haven't got sun, we've got snow. Hi Alison. Uh, yeah, so it's got a shaker, a, a nice big shaker. And that's that's what goes in there. And then those bits just fold, fold round it to keep it in place. Then on this side, we've got one of these pockets that we've done several times before. And then in there, there's just a little... Um, sort of mini book with a belly band closure you open it up and uh, it's just got um you know a little waterfall here uh, nothing nothing difficult you can see how easy this is okay so yeah just uh just a little a little belly band to keep it closed and that's all it is it's very quick very easy it just looks fancy because of the papers I've used but like I said in class I'm going to use something completely different uh, I just haven't I haven't decided what yet uh, and then the back's just you know plain paper and I've drawn around a lot of the edges and stuff so that's what we're going to do um on on Friday it's not it's not a big project it's not going to take long um it's just some little bits that are nice and easy and quick to put together so that's the plan with that uh, so that's going to take us a couple of weeks I reckon now Sarah Kentner, if she's around, looking about somewhere, was talking the other day about using six by six papers. Um, and I actually haven't got as many as I thought. That, well, apart from the six by eights at the back, this is my collection. That's my collection of six by six papers. Because these are six and a half. Do you remember these? These little Kaiser Craft ones. Look at how old these are. These are some old Kaiser Craft uh, six and a half inch papers and then this is my measly collection of six by six because i don't have that many because i'm not likely to use them but i know a lot of you do have a big stash of them so what i thought we'd do is this week we're going to do this little mini book um that i showed you and then uh next week over a couple of weeks we're going to make a more traditional style book with six by six papers um that's uh i'm talking about you sarah i know you can't i don't know why i said that because you haven't got sound on why did I say that? Anyway, oh. yeah, uh, so that's the plan. And this is the paper that I'm going to use on, on next week's one. So a little bit more stash busting uh, and some, some purple flowers, I reckon. So, uh, yeah. So what I thought we'd do tonight is just something really quick and simple. You can either make these as one-offs or you can um, make them and put them into books, you know, instead of like photo mats, perhaps. Uh, so it's ever so easy. It's literally... I'm, it's literally a piece of card folded in half with a waterfall, but you know, it's um, it's a reason for us to get together, isn't it? So it's literally it's just folded. This is a folded little book with a little waterfall here. Uh, that's it. Dead easy. Couldn't oh, be. Couldn't be easier. Sad, oh yeah. Well, you're both as bad as each other. And then I've just attached it with some. Um, I've just used some embroidery cotton on the back, and just you've seen me do this before. Just tie it. And then just attach it at the back like that okay so um that's what we're going to do tonight so all you're going to need is some of your uh six by six or oh, you don't even have to use six by six use some of your scraps oh, Wendy said it as well. oh that's all right yes mel it's all about you look do you want to see these photos my favorite one isn't in here which is the one with the prosecco Oh, yes. so okay. this is this is apparently we're friends i didn't know this and didn't realize this until until i made it uh but there's 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 me and mel who you'll know as the charm lady uh and uh, this was um a photo uh when we were down at our favorite radio station Cal and chase radio which you can listen to online all over the world just saying and then uh, I like this picture. Mel took it, and I look really pretty in it. So I, I put, I thought I'm going to put this one in because I really like it. But Mel's got sparkles on her face, and that was before we got drunk at a Canic Chase radio party, and that was when we did steampunk at one of our Chase handmade fairs, and that was at the International Scrapbook Day retreat, not 2020 but 2019. I have no idea about that one. I think that one was quite possibly another chase handmade christmas fair don't know who that woman is uh and then that was the first ever super sweet retreat wasn't it mel so yeah so um I'll, i'm going to uh ceremoniously burn this one afterwards 
uh, you know, because whatever. Anyway, let's make it. I've talked too much. Nothing new there. So um, I'm going to choose some papers to use in this one tonight. In fact, you're going to choose my papers. Am I going to use some nice, cute, wintry ones? Am I going to use Boys Rule, which is as old as the hills? Um, or am I going to use some grungy ones, which I haven't really got a lot of interest on them? Or tropical? Or Christmas? Or teacher's pet? I she might make a nice little present for a teacher. Right, so you decide. So am I going to use teacher's pet? Christmas, tropical, grunge, boys, or winter? Yes. Yes, that's helpful. Tropical, the one that I wanted to use the least. Well done, Donna. <laughs> Actually, they are quite nice, those, to be fair. They're nice and bright, aren't they? Very thin. Well, come on, Mark. Which one? Which which one's winning? People aren't helping. Win, win, is win, which one's winning? Winter and teachers. Winter, winter and teachers. Pet. Winter. Winter. I think might have got the lead. Out loud teachers. Winter. Winter's in the lead, doesn't it? So now it's between winter and teachers. Pet. I'm guessing. Winter. I think winter's in the lead. Winter's in the lead. Okay. Well, for some reason, I've got two packs of that. Actually, I think I've got three packs of it. I'm oh, not quite two. sure why. Wendy keeps multiple voting. Does she? Is she, yeah. te is she cheating? Yeah. Is that the same paper as that one? I'll decide. Winter. Winter. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. So all you're going to need now is some cardstock. I'll use white because it's easy to grab you only need a couple of sheets of it not a lot and your trimmer so for the base of it the first thing we're going to cut is um the actual base of the book which is seven by six and one eighth of an inch there is a good reason for that because that's the size you need because yeah that means that we don't have to cut up our six by six papers right all only on one side Seven by six and one inch. Inches. Okay, that's the base. Right. And then we need seven at three by two and a quarter. Now, this book will fit in seven three by two inch photos so it's just for little ones Itty bitty ones three That's nice. actually I only need two sheets of uh, Hard stuck aren't you three by two and a quarter five six seven right okay you can put your trimmer away and grab your scoreboard and the first thing we're going to do is on the seven inch side I just want you to score at three and a half which essentially is just going to fold our book in half that's as simple as that you know that's that's it and then on each of these little waterfall pieces I want you to score on the two and a quarter inch side a quarter of an inch Actually, 
that was my original one i changed it to an inch oh it doesn't matter we can still do it like this or you can, you can yeah all right we'll do it this way it should really have been half an inch it should have been two and a half inches it doesn't, it doesn't matter I might change that actually because I'm just going to make it more difficult doing it this way. Oh, that one's two and a half. I'll do that one anyway, just to show you. Yeah, you might you might be better. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that again. Cut cut it at three by two and a half. So I've cut seven. Cut no. seven at three by two and a no, half. It'll save us faffing cut. about. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll show you. I'll show you what I did to change it. Because I did them originally at two and a quarter, and it was too bulky. It wouldn't shut. You could get a lot more photos in. And I didn't. I didn't want it really. I'm cutting seven and three by two and a half. Yeah. If you've already cut them at two and a quarter, don't worry, because I did. And I'll show you what I did to these are all these are all cut at two and um at two and a quarter, but I'll show you what I did to space them out. So that's a half inch gap. Because I couldn't be bothered to go back and do it. I've forgotten about that. It's because I did it when I woke up. It takes me a lot longer than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Okay. Right, so. Score on the two and a half inch side, but half an inch. If you already scored a quarter of an inch, don't worry about it. I'm too hot now. Oh. It's freezing when I woke up. No, me neither. So I'm still on a two and a half inch side. That's half inch. Yeah. So this will fit photos that are two by three inches. So if you use a selfie or you want to get them printed out, basically four photos this size will fit on a six by four standard sized photo if that makes sense uh yeah that's right okay so here's our base so we're going to fold it in half just like that and we're going to score and we're going to burnish that and then our tiny little waterfall pieces just fold on the score line And burnish four. I think Lorraine's asking herself a question. Do I really need a selfie? Been thinking about getting one. Well, I've been having this conversation with Mel. I've got a selfie. I have had mine what five five years at yeah, least. Um, and I will say that it is not the cheapest way to print out photos. However, it is beyond convenient because I don't tend to print out loads and loads of photos. Um, but when I'm doing something like this, and I, 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 cause I wanted to put photos in this, Ellie it's just so, you what, sorry, both boys. Oh, I'll be good. I'll be on my best behavior. Um, so yeah, I use a selfie. There are, there are other ones out available out there. Um, What's the other one called? What's the one that Sarah's got? Uh, there's another one, isn't there? What's it called? Forgotten. Anyway, um, it, it, I find it really useful, but if you're going to print out a lot of photos, then, um, you know, 
it's not necessarily the most cost effective way of doing it so hi axel hi eddie but yeah i i, I do no not an instax one um yeah i know uh you're gonna right rebecca you're gonna score uh, on the seven inch side at three and a half inches so it's folded oh, over so it's three and a half way. inches by sprocket thank you lorraine that's the one uh so it's three and a half inches by six and one eighth an inch and the reason why it's six and one eighth of an inch is because when i come to put my six inch pattern paper on i really don't have to think too hard about the border it's kind of already there if that makes sense i just couldn't be bothered yeah so i don't know have you got a sprocket julie i think a few people in that one. yeah it's i think it's a toss-up one between the other i have to say it's not always the sharpest but i'm quite fussy about my photos and i don't find any anybody does even if you send them away uh you don't necessarily get the sharpest of hit it well yeah but my pictures are all right anyway yeah so yeah I've, I've i've got a selfie and i use it and i i'm quite fond of it it's very very useful right so let's have a look and see which now i'm going to choose two sheets for the inside and two for the outside or oh, do like a fox yeah. yeah not you dear foxes don't make a noise like that i can't make fox noises they make weird noises oh okay well don't want polar bears chewbacca yeah thank you dear very helpful uh, I don't know I oh, can't make any decisions tonight yes they sound like crying babies yeah. right yeah, probably not like that. well you have to you find an app that you like um to i can't even show you because i'm using my phone as my camera um find an app that you like that uses like a grid concept for your photos now i use something called pic collage because i've used it ever since i first got my selfie and i really can't be asked to learn a new one um, but what I do is I just import the photos I want and it puts them into a grid for me and I can choose what grid format I want. I can choose the size, so six by four. Um, and I know other people use Jane Small. Otherwise, Jane, why are you lost, my darling? What we've done is we've cut our book, which I've lost, at seven inches by six and one eighth of an inch and we folded it in half so we've scored on the seven inch side at three and a half inches and we folded it in half and that's the base of our book what we've then done is we have cut that doesn't look at all straight seven at three inches by two and a half inches and we've scored on the two and a half inch side at half an inch and just folded those over okay and that's going to form up form our waterfall yep yeah, it looks like quite a few people use free prints yes i've heard about free prints i don't know what they are i don't even know where i got them i've had them forever i don't i don't even know they haven't got any information on them i i genuinely don't know because i don't tend to buy six by six papers uh right so um those two or that one no 
yeah no. right okay so what i'm going to do now is i know that i'm what i've done on here is i've cut two pieces of paper and i have um basically matted one on top of the other so i've used a plainer one and then i've matted my pattern paper on top okay so uh and i've distressed the edges just using my scissors so i know that that's three and a half inches and i know that that's six and one eighth of an inch so i'm going to choose my my um matting paper the base one which is going to be this one and i'm going to cut that i don't need to cut anything off the six inch length but i'm going to cut it at one eighth of an inch under the three and a half which is three and three eighths of an inch yep. actually i'm going to do that i'm going to need to do that twice because i want to put that on the back as well so what size is that oh i've just found one i might like a bit more <laughs> oh no i'm going to stick with that one uh it is six by three and three eighths of an inch I have a feeling I bought these at a craft fair somewhere. Is that the bargain bin? Yeah, out of the bargain bin. Or from that shop we went to, that one that was bargain bin. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure at all. Yeah, so I'm afraid I can't help you, Nikki. Okay, so these are three and three eighths of an inch by six. Now, my image that I'm going to put on top, I'm going to cut at three and one eighth of an inch by five and three quarters. Yeah, five and three quarters. Let's have a look. So when I pop it on there, I've got a border that's the same all the way round. Oh, that was luck rather than judgment. I might just trim that down a tiny bit more. Yeah, so that's going to fit on there like that. Right. Um... What did I say? Three and one eighth of an inch. Uh, three and an eighth by five and three quarters. Or each. just slightly under. Yeah, each. I'll put each. Yeah. Um, Two ticks. Let me have a look. Someone just said hi. Else. Else. Oh, tell me how to pronounce that. Is that El Sabe? Bessie. Bessie. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. Probably not at all. Yeah, that's why. How I'm many on. six by three and three eight? Well, actually, it's four is the quick answer, Rebecca. But I'm just doing two at a time. I'm going to do my cover first. Right, and I'll do the insides in a minute. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to distress my edges. So we can get lots of lovely distress tools, which we love, but I'm a cheapskate and I find I get a better response by using my scissors. Also, it scares Mark. Sharp instruments and gear. And it doesn't, I don't care if it tears because that's a nice bit of texture to me. So I'm just going to rough up my edges a little bit. Chloe, is this a good evening? Hi Chloe, are you hiding in the kitchen again? Rebecca so 
so the three by two and a half are we talking about I, I don't know what we what we what we're talking about now and now i'm just going to distress the other one too The three and an eighth by five and three quarters. Oh, um, that was... three and an eighth. Uh, well, well, three in all honesty of those. In, to include the inside, I haven't done my insides yet. I've only done the outside. Because the inside's slightly, slightly different. We don't have to have fancy paper on one of them. Right, okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue. And I'm just going to attach that on top of that piece like that. Make sure that it's central and vaguely straight would be nice, which that one isn't is now okay so that is going to be my front piece and here's my flappy thing and that is just going to sit on there like that so let's pop some glue Now, when I'm done with class tonight, I'm going to go and put a, a uh, what's the word I want? A post in the group, because I was thinking earlier that I want you guys to help me with something. And I, I'm going to do like a poll and I want you to vote on every book. I'm going to write a list of every book that we've made this year. And I want you to vote on every book that you've made. OK, or actually it doesn't have to be this year well no it should be yeah books that we've made this year and i want you so i want to know how many everybody's um everybody's made this year which which books have been the most popular it's a poll it's a poll it's a yeah so i thought that might be really interesting Oh, I don't like chocolate oranges, Ellie. Ooh, they're no, they're horrible. I used to. You can keep that. We're quite fussy, aren't we? I've decided yeah. now the only chocolate that I actually like these days is that Lindor. And my sister bought me a kilo for my birthday. The bizarrely, bag. yeah, bizarrely, there's still some left. And I haven't even cracked open the. You bought me the salted caramel, didn't you, dear? I did. I haven't even opened those yet. But we bought we started buying our christmas stuff in august and we've we've not touched it we've been giving it away haven't we yeah. do they have to be no they don't have to be finished christy finishings for wimps we all need about six projects on the go that are never finished hi celia Right now, I'm going to put my um, uh, closure on a little differently on this one because I don't want to spoil any of the image of this doe deer. Go on, sing. A deer, a female. Uh, because on the original one, what I did was I attached my my um closure i just did a little sort of rectangle a couple of pieces of the paper the design paper and stuck it under that but what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to stick it under the whole thing because i don't want to lose 
I don't want to lose bits of my paper, my, my image. So I'm going to do my closure next. But if you don't want to put yours on yet until, you know, the end, that's fine. Because it's actually going to get in the way a bit. You what, what? The basic. Yes, I saw that. Is that the one that you just put up in the group, Elaine? So I was going to go and comment on that and then I realised what time it was. Chocolate lasts, Alison. Right. Okay. Right, so that's going to go on the back, but I want to put my closure on first. So I'll show you how I did that. What I did was I got some of my uh, coloured threads. Actually, a lot of these will go. So I've got that one. I, I like to choose at least two. What else will go with it? Uh, that one. A right colour blue. No, that's too bright. No, I don't like it. Oh, black maybe. What else have I got in my bag? Everything. That red might be quite nice. Or do you think that's too, too much? That might be too much. Oh, no, I'll use those three browns. So what I do is I take my threads and all I do is I tie a knot in the end. And then go a little bit further along and tie a knot. Not, not. And then a little bit further along and tie another knot. And this just keeps it together and no, I don't measure it. They're probably all different with you can measure it, but you know. That's another step, isn't it? That that's just too much like hard work. But at least this way it keeps all of your threads together. And just keep knotting as you go along. What are you doing? Uh, he's distracting me. I think he's after my Lindors. They're downstairs, dear. Now, you're going to ask me how long this is, aren't you? I know you are. And the answer is, I don't it's a, know. It's as long as a piece it's of string. It's as long as a piece of string. <laughs> there it is. That's exactly how long it is. It's as long as a long thing. I don't know how long it is. How long is this one? I'll measure it in a minute. Oh, hang on. Just knock my book off. That'll teach me. Oh, Chop those off there. Right, where was I? Okay. Right, fold it in half. Now I think actually it might be easy to put that on afterwards. Uh, 
find out where the middle of that is which I'm going to move it along a bit so that I don't have any knots in it and it won't matter in the great scheme of things bit of double sided tape just to keep it in place she says can't find any And now I'm just going to glue. Make sure you put it the right way up. Uh, no, the, the lid doesn't go on it. I've discovered this. It keeps popping off, doesn't it? Actually, I'm going to have a word with them about the design of the glue bottle. Because it's now it's it. round. It's a flipping nightmare to pack in a parcel. They changed the bottle, didn't they? Yeah. It's, it's, it was better when it was flatter because it went nicely in the parcel and now it doesn't. So I'm going to have to have a word. Oh, no. Right, let's pop that on there. Okay, right, so that's how I've put my closure on. But like I said, on this original one, I popped it on there. I just put some underneath, just gives it a bit of extra interest. Right, okay, so inside. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same, as in I'm going to choose my focal point. Now, if you want to, I have actually added the instructions for an optional pocket to go down in this corner i didn't put a pocket on that one i just put some photos but if you want to put a pocket down there it's exactly the same way as a very very basic pocket i'm actually quite tempted should i put one in mine just so you can see me do it so i'll just quickly cut a pocket so if you want a pocket which obviously is optional Cut it at four and a half by three inches. And then score on the four and a half inch side at half an inch and at four inches scoot it round score on the three inch side at half an inch so what you've got is just a basic basic pocket here with the three intersecting score lines okay just for mel we're going to kinky mitre so if you haven't done a class with me before i'm weird the way i mitre my corners i'm going to snip up to where the score lines intersect and then i'm going to just change the angle of my scissors and I'm going to cut it off so that it's not a straight score line, straight, a straight cut straight across. It's actually at an angle. Because when we come to fold it, there's less chance of you getting knobbly bits. Okay, and then I fold it on the score lines. So I've got my basic pocket. Like I said, completely optional. You might, you know, decide that this just isn't the way you want to do it at all. And I'm just going to pop it on the bottom left-hand side of my book, like that. Of the book. Yeah. Let's make sure that folds up all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to cut my patterned papers and for the right hand side because that's where the waterfall is going to go I don't need to cut that I only need to cut one really so I'm going to cut that at three and three 
three eighths of an inch and that'll go on there like that. Put one at three and three eighths. By six. It's already six inches, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. And where's the other one? <sighs> I don't know why I make life so difficult for myself. There should be another sheet of this somewhere. There we go. And then this one, I'm going to cut two because I've got my uh, pocket. And I'm going to cut one at three and three eighths of an inch by four. And then three and three eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch and I've just mixed up all the bits that I want no. oh no so that piece is going to go on there and then that piece is going to go in there and that piece on there so now i want to cut a piece that nice those nice boxes I'm cutting this down now so that my image is two and one eighth of an inch, I think. Although you better hang on for a minute until I know for sure because you know what my measuring's like. It's fluid. Yeah, that's going to fit on there. Like that. By three and one eighth of an inch. Okay. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this as I did with the previous. And I'm just going to distress those edges. Oh no, it's because they're all working hard. My tongue's sticking out. Oh no. Oh. This tongue's always sticking out. Yeah, I know, this is true. <sighs> I've got some um, tiny little flowers 
in my flower stash which I might go and get in a minute because where I'm accidentally ripping these corners these bits off I'm just thinking how nice it would be to put a little flower underneath peeping out Karen says trying to keep up oh I'm all over the place tonight I think you've got every chance of keeping up I'm not making any sense I know normal, normal session yeah pretty much I should have the recipe box to show you in the next couple of days. In fact, I might just challenge myself and say I'll show it to you on New Year's Day. It is nearly done. going to glue those on Remember with this one, you, you don't need to um, distress that bottom bit because it's going to slip inside our pocket if you've put a pocket on here. Uh, could you kindly ask Cal to lift up the little mini and show us where the thread comes out? I'm about to stick my two pieces together and just want to make sure I get it right. Are you talking about, well, there's two ways of doing it. On the one that I'm doing just do that. right now, I've put the thread underneath my back image, okay? So the thread, it's centred, I've folded it in half and I've put it underneath that back because this, pa this paper that I'm using here is quite, obviously there's a very definite pattern on it, a very definite image. And if I go and put my uh, closure on it across there, I'm going to lose some of that image and I don't want to do that. So I've, I've just stuck it underneath that back sheet. I've put a couple of pieces of um double-sided tape on there just to hold it in place whilst it's drying okay I just want the size of that. okay now on this one because this is just pattern paper and it's not got a specific image on it what i did was um exactly the same except to put it on the top and i cut out two small rectangles of paper and i glued it underneath there but either way is just fine it doesn't matter Okay? Is it between the nose and two of the nose, that tops? Something like that. Does that help? Has that answered your question? Well, I know this is the wrong way round, but you're not going to see it. I'm going to put my foxes on top. Like that. There we go. Now, okay, so that's my little book. Dead easy. But now what I want to do is put the waterfall down here. Now, I can put a photograph on one side. And then all I've done on the back is I've just put some plain paper. So if you want to journal or something along those lines, that's what you can do on the back of those pictures. Now, I was going to I was going to print some out, but I haven't. I didn't get around to it because I didn't know what papers I was going to use. So what I'll do now just really quickly is I'll just cut something to cover the back. So that's each piece is three by two. So now I'm going to choose a piece of pattern paper I quite like that one and I'm going to cut these all at two and seven eighths no I'm not yes I am two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths How many of those are there? seven let me just check. 
check. Please check, yes, that's right. And I want seven of those. Two and seven eighths, one and seven eighths. Yeah. jokes tonight dear I don't suppose they could be any worse than the ones that you said before so oh okay Right, I need one more. One more. One more. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Uh, Okay, so I'm just, I'm not putting my um, trimmer too far away. Oh. oh, I've just broken a glass. Oh. Or maybe two. Oh, no. Right under my feet. Right. Sorry. Oh, what I don't, because I was putting them out of the way so I didn't knock them over. Oh, we'll have to clean that up. I know, oh, I'll not move. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these now on the back. One's broken. The back of my um, waterfall pieces. So when I say the back... We've got this, so it's folded over, that flap's folded over, and I'm sticking these where the flap, underneath the flap, if that makes sense. We needed some new glasses anyway. Yes, because the 1500 we've got now, we need a new. Okay, I'm going to do that on each of them. slippers now by the way that's just made me think where are my slippers I don't normally walk around without slippers on How many of these have I actually made? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Do you want me to move my feet? You don't trust me, do you? Not to stand in it. Oops. Oh, that was a good one as well. I like that one. That was a posh one. It was the only one we got that was posh. Have I we, broken the other one as well? We did have six, but now we've got... None. None. We might have one. I like them ones as well. Oh, no, sorry. Are you sure the other one's not broken? <gasps> oh, my God, look at all the glass. Yes, sir. Oh, crikey. <sighs> I'll not move. I'll not move my feet. Right, I wonder, that's too big isn't it? Please. Hmm. 
think that's a bit too big to use my stamp right okay so now what we're going to do is this quick and easy waterfall so i've got my photo uh mat here and i'm just going to pop some glue onto that flap there and i'm going to pop it towards the top but centered left to right like that and i'm going to glue it down and make sure it looks straight okay like that so that's the first part of our waterfall second part pop some glue on line this top bit this fold up with the bottom of that bit there like that so that folded bit hits the bottom of the bit that we've just stuck on and then if you lie that down on top you'll see that that should line up there and there without going off at an angle okay so that's two bits in And I'm going to add another one. Lie that down, make sure that it lines up nicely before I glue it down. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Okay. What? Okay. Oh, I've lost my picture. Right. And just keep going until all seven are in. Alright, so you're going to put your photos where these blank white bits are on my card. The waterfall bits, they were... What, the actual three original two, yeah, three measurements? Three by two and a half, and the score yeah. on the two and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay, so that's my... Oh, we might have room for another one. How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. You might have room for another one if you want to. It's up to you. Right, so that's the waterfall bit that goes in there. We've got a little pocket where we can put some um, tags. But I want to have a look at the decoration because as much as I like that image, it's not, it's not doing it for me. It's not enough. So now I'm going to use my pattern papers to, to make something a bit more interesting. So I've still got this image here of this dough. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm just going to fussy cut round her. Nearly done. She's got very leggy legs. Little bit of legs. Yeah.
Right. I'm going to just put her back onto some white card. I'm going to fussy cut around that as well. Just leaving a little bit of a gap around the edge. Just to make her stand out a bit. If we scored a quarter inch and cut them up. Yeah, if you scored a quarter of an inch, in fact I'm gonna do that now. I'll do that. If you if you scored a quarter of an inch, what we've got to do as well is is add some bits in here so we're covering this up. So oh, it's not wide enough. What I did if I scored at quarter of an inch, let me find some paper. Actually, I'm going to use my other trimmer because it's quite thin. Was I cut at three inches by half inch strips? And I'll pop those in between there, okay, like that. But say at this bottom one, just say for instance I only had, I've only got a half inch, I've only got a, a quarter of an inch one, and pop that down on, on, on my thing like that, and then I'd put that strip on there, because that gives me that half inch, and then I'll pop the next one. Are you leaving the quarter inch now? Yeah. So I've got that there. Right, so just say, for instance, I'm going to stick that there. Okay, like that. I'm going to put that one on top there, the half inch one, and then I'll just add that one underneath. So I've still got that half inch gap. Does that make sense? It's just that you're matting it quicker than... And then you've got that in between each one so that you've got you're covering up that white bit Oh no, I'm thinking. So I've just, I've, I've, what I've basically done is I've just using my papers just to give a bit of added interest. So I've cut around my, my dough, giving a little bit of a, a white edge. I'm so tempted to cut my deer out again and put him on a white and then put her in front. On, I might do that. Tim, Tim, Tim. I know. Although I'm gonna to have to put his antlers out, and that's gonna be a pain in the butt.
And don't forget, you know, as well as your papers, obviously, if you've got patterns on your papers, just go and look at what dies you've got or stamps. Just to add a little bit of added interest. Because this is just a really quick and easy way of using up your scraps. I'm not going to be too precious about how I cut this out, I don't think. That sounded like a cat. Storm. Sounded like storm, yeah. We live right on the edge of a forest here, um, an area of outstanding natural beauty called Cannock Chase. And because we've had all this snow, um, obviously people have been out doing lots of photographing of our local area. And one of the things about the chase is that we have a really big deer population. And I have seen some stunning photos over the last couple of days of stags in the snow. It just makes me so grateful to live somewhere like this. We're so lucky. Yes. Although it's not so good when you meet these deer in the middle of the night when you're driving somewhere. That's not brilliant. Not very bouncy. No. Apparently. Right. oh wow i haven't seen that one there's some have you seen the ones the, with the, the stags no, there's some beautiful ones um i don't know which group they're on one of the kind of chase groups or maybe even spotted boat or something like that but we are extremely lucky to live somewhere like this we had a few mountains it'd be nice it is very flat around here that's the one downside isn't it really yeah, our, she said she sent her parents a christmas a loaded christmas pocket they absolutely loved it oh that that loaded pocket is great i was thinking about resurrecting that actually for um well actually i was thinking about the retreats this morning and um some of the books that we're going to do next year and i did think about something similar yeah yeah that picture is amazing but it's a regular occurrence here it's you know we there's loads it's it's not not unusual to see the deer at all just stunning Right, just finish this, tidy it up a bit. Oh, tiny little cuts now. 
Right. Okay. So he stands out a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab some of my chipboard. I've got some very thin chipboard from a previous project. And I'm just going to use this instead of foam dots. And I'm going to stick that. Oh, yeah. Over there like that. And now I'm going to... I'll just drop my... No, don't go down there because there's glass. Right, I put her on double because I want her to be more forward than, oh, than the stag. So let's pop her there. There we go. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to put photos on here. Where's my last one? I'll pop that on there now. So, this is the quarter of an inch one, so that's obviously narrower. So I'm just going to line it up to that bottom bit there that I've just added in and make sure that that's straight, which it isn't at all straight. There we go. Okay, so each of these need a little thingy. Just finishes it off, I think. Makes it look nice and tidy. It's probably help if I stuck it in the right place. Yeah, so next week I thought we'll use some more of our six by six papers and we'll go for a more sort of traditional style book with a little um, hidden hinge binding. Probably take us a couple of weeks to do that and then we'll get on with those recipe books, which I will do my very best to finish and show you on New Year's Day. Might as well start the year off with a new book. I'm 
think I'm going to have to start the new year off with some new glue. Can't believe the amount of glue I get through. Okay, so each of each of my um, bits have got the that on there, which just finishes it off. And like I said, I'll put some photos. I'm sure I've got some photos of a wintry walk. Now, we could put some uh, little um, photo mats in there. So what size are we going to do those? Let's do them at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I'm going to cut two of those so five and a quarter by what did i say two and three quarters by five and a quarter yeah let's just make sure those fit in yep and i think i will so she's looking forward to seeing the recipe book it's nearly done although i've done something that i said i'd never do um, when I do a kit, I like you to have everything in it that you need, but I've named obviously each of the books, you know, like we've got sweets, starters, mains, whatever. And I've used a die, a die set, which isn't going to be in your kit. because the look that i wanted with the dies that i've got it makes, just makes it prohibitively expensive and you might decide that you don't want to do it like that you might decide that you want to do it a different way so i've named i've labeled mine with a particular die set but you might decide to do it a different way and i haven't included the dies in the kit because the, the dies that i used were quite expensive and I didn't want to make it so expensive that, you know, it was going to put people off. Also, are you playing, planning a lady slash sir recommend? Yes. We'll, right. The way that it's looking at the moment is we've got the recipe book, which will be mid-January on a Wednesday. On a Thursday, you will be delighted to hear mid-January, hopefully, hopefully, We'll have that darned House of Roses book that I keep promising you. But it's not huge, so that shouldn't take too long. And then, uh, as soon as we've done the recipe book, we'll be doing Sir and Lady Vagabond. Now, we're going to have to wait on this a little bit because um, even um, Stamperia have run out of the Sir Vagabond 12 by 12 papers. Um, so they're not going to be restocking until the end of January so uh, nobody can get them once the ones that i've got in the shop have gone they're gone um until i can get some more from them so uh yeah right so i'm gonna just i'm just gonna just map these uh tracy dexter asks if they use these cards stuck for these little orange pieces will it be too thick i think it will doesn't it uh, well, I've just used pattern paper. What, what are we talking about? The the bits that that go on on here? No. You reckon not? No. Suppose I think your cardstock is, but I wouldn't have thought so. What those bits in? For these bits in between. Well, I've just used pattern paper, but I think it depends on how thick your cardstock is. Most yeah. pattern paper cardstock, I would think, would be all right. Oh, happy new year to you too, Nikki. What was the die set called? Do you know? 
Uh, I can't remember because I've had it forever. However, I have found something similar. I have found something similar that I can get from my wholesaler. But they are going to be about £40 a set. And I'm pretty certain that the ones that I bought originally were about that much. They were, oh, it's Alter New originally. But they're very blocky. Hang on, I'll show you. Now, just bear in mind that I haven't finished this yet. But it's this very, very blocky one. And I said I'd never do this, but I just couldn't get the look that I wanted for mine. So it's very, very blocky and I can get something really similar, but they're not that they're, they're really quite pricey. What I might do is put something in the group and do do pre-orders if people do want me to get them for them. But I just thought the other thing that we could maybe do is find a or buy. We could buy a, um, a commercial use font and turn it into an SVG for people with cutting machines. Yeah, that might well, be something we could do. Thing. Or yeah, or print it out. We could we could do something maybe with um, acetate. You could put acetate on there. But that's um, I just wanted that boldness. Right. So there's my little um, photo mat. Pop that one in there. I'm going to do two. I've forgotten what the size was already. Oh. My photo mat. Three quarter by five and three quarter. Yep, that would be the one. Kathleen says there's a slightly smaller one by Tim Hobbs that's similar. Oh, well, the the height. Elaine Smith has uh, suggested Mark could cut them out and sell them as part of the kit. I don't know who she's talking about. If it's, if it's Mark, please. Uh, no. <laughs> well, we could, but the only thing is, I doubt very much that the angel policy on the dies um, uh, goes that. They're about an inch and a half in height. Do you want to have a look at this while we're here? Right, there's four, there's four books in the set. One's, one's entrees, Entree. sweets, mains, baking, and then there is a set of, uh, of, of, of folders for you to put, like, you know, like cut out. Um, uh, recipes that you've got but when you open it up oh, I haven't decorated this one inside let me find one I've decorated inside right here we go here's the mains one it's gonna have some more stuff on it so I've just put the thing on for it but when you open it up you've got all of these recipe cards which will come in your kit oh there's some problem so we've had all these specially designed for us you can't you're not going to be able to get these anywhere else and then it opens up again and there are one, two, three, four, eight. Lots. 32. 32 plus 12. 44. There's 44 recipe cards minimum per book. And you've got four of those. Okay. And there's four books like this. One that's more of... Um, a thingy I like Catherine's card I can't see and then those all fit into a box so that's I'm, I, yeah that's uh how you wish you could cook I can't cook well I can actually but I let Mark do it uh so yeah that's that's Thank the you, idea dear. behind it you're a great cook so yeah um I'll finish it and the box the box has got feet and everything the box I'm really pleased with you want to see the box oh no wait you can see the box on 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 new year's day um so uh yeah that's that's the plan uh but I, you can see why i was quite particular about the the letters um i just wanted something that was really bold and i couldn't think of a way to do it that was reasonable in terms of time or cost so you might decide that you want to put your own labels on you know you can just use sticky labels you could use thickers for instance uh, all sorts of things that you could do. I think just printing something out and fussy cutting it. Yeah, absolutely. That would work great too. <laughs> and it says, that was cruel. Show us the box. 
No. <laughs> and there's more. There is more because it doesn't come with a charm, does it, Mel? There's no charm. No. There's a special. Oh yes. yes. Cooking themed recipe bookmark which actually forms part of the decoration on the front of the book How much you this uh well celia this is the thing the kit is absolutely huge it is not going to be cheap it's going to be another one that's going to be in the region of between 60 and 70 pounds there will be a class um it'll be in here uh starting probably the middle of january absolutely free to join you don't have to buy a kit to join the class but if you want to we can help you with that uh the kits will probably go live in the next week or so um and there will be because it uses it's very very heavy on the card stock because it's all stack pockets in the way that we've made the box um i think it uses 60 pieces of a4 cardstock but um because it'll be easier for me to count i'm going to give you the opportunity to purchase 100 sheets of cardstock so you've got like 40 40 left over right so those are my uh my little photo mats in there okay now that's not finished i'm still not happy with that so what am i going to do to add a little bit more interest to this i don't know what have i got in the way of my paper what can i add now none of this paper comes with any sentiments on it which is a pain i'm sure i saw some flowers somewhere You probably can hear storm snoring. Or next door, the drilling in the wall again. Uh, Lorraine Daniels asks, will you be getting your place photo here stamped back in stock? Um, yes, I will. Um, I'm just having some more made, but if you want to hold off for a little bit, I've been talking to somebody about a collaboration on stamps. I really need to give her another shout. It's my fault it hasn't gone any further. Uh, because I've got an idea for a whole load of bookmaking related stamps. So I'm just talking to somebody who I admire very much, who is keen to get involved. which will supersede mine a little bit. But I'm thinking this time, instead of being on the, you know, the, the, that there'll be clear uh, polymer, photopolymer stamps. Oh, the parchment. Yeah, but a whole sort of book related selection of them. So yes, I will be getting some back in stock, but I have plans for something even better. Maybe you're not bored just sitting watching me cut stuff out. Yeah. You are bored. You're just saying that because you want your tea. Yes, I am. Yeah. 
Thanks for everyone who says uh, have a happy new year. Yes, we will do. Thank you. We're nipping over to my dad's tomorrow because we're in a bubble with my dad because he's on his own. And uh, cooking tea. Going to see in the new year with him. Whether he wants to or not, and I suspect not would probably be the answer. And then we'll be back with class in crafting together with all brands on New Year's Day for you, which we're really looking forward to. So I think it's going to be a very happy new year. Right. This needs a sentiment of some description, I think. I don't know what, really. Does anybody know where I put my... Oh, there it is. Oh god, now the cats are fighting. Got a storm pouncing. Yeah. Alright, well I'm not going to do a lot more to this, but you get the idea. So just a little very, very quick and easy book. Just a way to use up our um our six by six papers and then just to tie it, to tie round, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't catch her ears. And just tie that in a little bow there I might have a play around with this in a bit actually because I think it needs some gold on it so I might I might add some bits to it yet actually that's too long so I'm just going to chop that off there right so you get the idea so nice and very quick and easy you can put these in your books um you know as extra sort of inserts so you can make them one-off gifts uh, for people so very very quick and easy so i hope you enjoyed that i've lost my glasses where are they they're not on my head here they are they probably oh no i haven't this time oh that was the drinking glasses that was the drink yeah thanks uh can i not burn no i won't burn you mel you're fine bust uh yeah chloe the resource list is up in the crafting together with all brands group it's also in the OneDrive because I got all efficient and managed wow. to put it in there as well. I know. I, I know. So uh, thanks all for joining us this evening. See you on Friday. Happy, happy New Year to you. And uh, we'll see you all on New Year's Day. Next so year. yeah, see you next year. So happy 2021. Let's hope it's a little bit better than this one. And we'll see you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget to pop your pictures up in the group because we love to see what you've made. All right then. Bye. Oh.